this may be some good news. We got um, Hertz. Hertz is a rental car company. Hertz is a rental car company. They are ditching the EV fleet. You know, the gas power cars. You know, because there is laws or stipulations or something. I think from um, from um, the Biden and the Biden administration, if I'm not mistaken, they put a time limit on when we can't use gas no more and we're trying to go electric. And I think that in 2030, if I'm not mistaken, in 2030, like places like California will not be able to use gas vehicles or something like that right there. But anyway, they say it's not working out. <laughs> it's not working out out here in these street to where a rental car company is ditching the gas cars. Here we go. Well, the White House is well, ditching the power cars, the electric cars, them, 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 the EVs. Here we go. Only defending their EV push, but they're doubling down with a $623 million investment to build a charging network. I want to bring in the car coach, Lauren Fix. Lauren, I want to get your thoughts on this. They're putting more money, more, they're going after more of these uh, cars, pushing EVs on Americans. People don't seem to be buying them. You are correct, Cheryl. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's interesting is all the car manufacturers are putting out some pretty cool products like we've seen at the Consumer Electronics Show and other auto shows around the country. We have found that it's not necessarily the cars, it's the infrastructure. Mm. We, even if we went 100% electric, the infrastructure can't support it. Kind and of. you're seeing that even with school buses in other countries. And then, of course, in Germany on December 13th, they stopped their EV mandate, and they're not offering that tax credit any longer, neither is New Zealand or England. They took off the tax credit. You know it ain't working. Well, you know, Hertz <laughs> citing weak demand and high damage costs. You know, they're downsizing in their EV fleet by 20,000 cars. They're going back to gas-powered yeah. vehicles, mm -hmm. Lauren. What does that tell you? Mm. That's about 25% of their fleet. Anytime I've gone to Hertz to rent a car, because I'm a member of their gold group, and they always say, oh, do you want to upgrade to a Tesla? And I'm like, no, I don't. I, I don't want to have to give it back with a full charge. And they don't want to give it back with a full charge. So <coughs> she don't even want to rent the Tesla. Wow. Finding that they can't rent them. And I always talk to the people there, you know, are people asking for them? And they're saying no. And also the tires are being used up quicker because of the weight of electric vehicles. Ooh. And that's something that people don't realize when you purchase an electric car, that the tires wear out quicker. I never knew that. I never knew that. I never knew that. I never knew that. That the tires wear out quicker because of the weight. I didn't even know that they were really, really heavy like that right there. Hmm? Mm, we learn something new every day. So good for the tire manufacturers, but not necessarily good for Hertz. So their their job is to get those vehicles used all the time. If not, they're losing money on each vehicle. So getting rid of 20,000 of them and hopefully finding homes for those is a good idea. Well, I, I'm a Hertz Gold member, and I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've been offered an EV, and now we know why. They've, <laughs> yeah. been, having, they've been having problems getting consumers to bite, so yes. there you go. Uh so, wait, think about it. This may be something good for the consumer as of like right now, like for this month or next month or something like that. If you have to rent a vehicle, you may want to be like, okay, I take an EV, but at a lower price. Maybe is that like a lower price or something like that. Maybe the rental car for the weekend is probably like 350 or something, right? A regular gas one. Maybe if they offering you the EV, if they can do you at like 250, suppose the 350, I would probably say just go ahead on and take the EV though. Just save your old hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? How much do it cost to charge up one of them um, um cars? You say the batteries are heavy. You say EV is a scam. You say current electric car batteries have an average weight of around a thousand plus pounds. Oh man, a thousand pounds plus plus the car. Wow, that's the problem. It's too heavy. And then I also found out the batteries. The batteries I kept seeing. Um. TikToks or something like that right there to where people didn't know that they batteries are five hundred or ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars for some type of battery or something like that that I was um that I heard out here. I don't know how true it is because I did not do my investigation. Uh, Lauren Fix, it's yeah. always great to, to talk to you. Thanks for joining me. Oh, you say if the battery dies, the replacement costs the same as a new gas car. See, so I was kind of right. 
about the batteries being so expensive if if the batteries need to be replaced. And that is a real, real shame. That's a real, real shame. You say Toyota run forever. Mm. You say, Willie, if you're not a client for EV and you rent the price to charge is going to be more than a regular client. Oh, the batteries are about 30 to 50 K to replace. That's a damn shame. You might as well get all the Honda some, man. Do not set yourself up for failure and shout out to Hertz for saying this ain't working. This ain't working. Moving right along. I ain't going to eat much ho.